Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we got some Tron coin price news, and a little bit of Stellar news, and uh, some mining rig updates. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Hey guys, real quick before we get to the news, um, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, um, where I just give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon below so you'll be notified uh, when that video comes out where you can enter to win. Alright guys, let's get to the news. Alright, so let's head over to Cryptocurrency News, uh, latest article they got there. Stellar and Tron shine. Coin prices rebound amid big movements. Um, we'll do Tron first and then head back up to Stellar. Uh, Tron is currently seeing massive price gains on today's market just before its token migration is set to kick off this Thursday. At one point, the price of Tron was up 25%, um, which was good, but as I'll show you in a bit, it's not lasting. Uh, most cryptocurrency exchanges that trade TRX will be handling the token migration after as I went over in a video yesterday But it would be wise to move your ERC 20 TRX tokens Over before Thursday which yesterday I said have them on there by Wednesday just to be safe uh, As most exchanges operate overseas if you don't move your tokens over to an exchange in time not to worry The Tron foundation will handle the token swap for you all you need to do is email withdraw at tron.network with your balance of ERC-20 TRX tokens by December 31st, 2018. All ERC-20 withdrawal service for the Tron official website will end on June 22nd. At press time, TRX is trading at 0.491 a coin, up 19.96%. It was just over five cents earlier. We'll check that out real quick. Uh, let me refresh. So right now it's 0 .048, up 8%. So it's dropping pretty quick. Uh, let's zoom in here at the very end. So here we are, and I think, like I said, 0 .0504 was about the highest it got, and it said it was about 25, 24.96% up. Um, but everything seems to be trickling down again, which I kind of alluded to yesterday. Um, we're getting, we, everything went up, but now it's starting to get sideways again, and it wouldn't surprise me if everything dropped again. All right, so let's check out some Stellar. I ho hold a bit of Stellar as well, so let's see what they got going on. Uh, most of the cryptocurrency market in the green this morning as we kick off our Tuesday. Ethereum is still trading well below 550, but Bitcoin seems to be making a surge towards 7,000. It ain't going to hit there. Uh, Tron remains the top coin with percentage gains today on the market out of the top 100 cryptocurrencies. Uh, let's take a look at the latest developments um, of two top 10 coins, Stellar and Tron. Stellar, ItBit is the first qualified custodian and licensed exchange, exchange to receive approval from the New York State Department of Financial Services to offer Stellar Lumens. Some good news. Um, ItBit made an announcement last week that it would be adding Ethereum. Bitcoin Cash, and Stellar Lumens to its regulated cryptocurrency exchange platform. Keyword there, regulated. This is big news for the cryptocurrency as ItBit is the first licensed cryptocurrency exchange to receive approval from the New York State Department. And because of this, all cryptocurrencies can be offered in all 50 states. Huge news. Stellar was chosen over its big brother, Ripple, which means as the third largest cryptocurrency, XLM was chosen over EOS, IOTA, and Cardano, all with top 50 cryptocurrency, top 10 cryptocurrencies in by market cap. These are rumors circulating that the Stellar Development Foundation is planning on launching its own decentralized trading platform. These rumors have yet to be credibly confirmed, but the exchange is expected to launch sometime next month. We'll see. 
Uh, at press time, Stella Lumens is trading at 0.237 a coin, up 4.69%. Uh, let's go check that out real quick. I think a bit, Bitcoin's up 0.15, so everything is coming back down. Here's Stellar right here, 0.235. So now it's officially in the red barely. But in any event, that's good news. Let's see what the high, let's see if Tron, no, Tron is no longer the highest. It's now the third highest as far as gains today. Um, but, I mean, that's good news for both of them. So, good news is better than uh, bad news is the I, way I look at it. All right, simple mining. So, this rig um, right here, it's been up for almost 24 hours now, 23 hours, 19 minutes. And since yesterday, I am um, dropping the overclock settings. That one card does not get 100% uh, fan speed now, which is good. So it was worrying me a little bit. I mean, I know it's not that big of a deal, but I don't like the fans to be running that hard. Uh, it just adds to the wear and tear on the cards. Uh, Mining Pool Hub, we're about to cash out some more Bitcoin. 0 0.0025, I cash out. Electronium cashes out at 250. So let's pull up my sheet. Um, so far this week, 655 electronium and just over $20 and Bitcoin mine. So if you guys are new here, this AMD rig mines Ethereum, converts it to Bitcoin, and this NVIDIA rig mines Electronium at the moment uh, using the XMR stack software. So today, total value mine four hundred thirteen dollars ninety eight cents, um, up over last week by what is that? Eighteen, about twenty five dollars. So that's not bad. That's only because everything is up today. But of course, it's dropping again. So I'm sure that will go back now. Um, sitting at four dollars nine cents a day last week. $6.88 a day after I finalize the numbers. I don't think I'm going to get the $48 this week because uh, we're only sitting at $28 right now, so i got to do $20 more in two days when I've done $28 over five. Of course, this rig was down twice during that time frame. Uh, I'll head over to Simple Mining. Uh, no, actually, Mining Pool Hub. Click on Ethereum. Go to dashboard, and if you scroll down, 0 0.0061, that's when it dropped yesterday. It was down for like six hours, and then here's the other day when I had the power outage, 0 0.0075. So the other days is doing pretty good, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to be hitting. I may be at $40, maybe a little over $40 uh, if I'm lucky this week. Just because of downtime on these rigs, um, I can't access access this Nvidia rig right now, uh, but it is still working. So I'll probably have to go home and reboot it again. Got to do that at least once a week now with this thing. Can't can't access it remotely. But anyways, guys, I guess that's it for today. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification icon. And um, with that, I guess that's happy mining today, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.